No rest for the weary after getting rid of Homeward Flossmore the night before. BA is back at Redbird Arena. For the program's first state title, the obstacle is Frem. The Vikings easily took care of Nutrier the night before. HF had a Duke recruit in Faith Suggs, so does Frem. Haley Gorecki is the team's unquestioned leader, 19 and 4 rebounds against the Trevians. By now you know the heavy hitters for the Red Wings, the two Emilys, Shramick and Eshoo, each 1,000 point career scores. First year head coach Joe Kilbride also counts on junior point guard Kathleen Doyle to run the floor. First quarter, first possession, and it's an ominous start for the Bennett defense. Brianna Hopkins screens for Gorecki, bang, 3-0 off the bat, one of Gorecki's three triples, and a game-high 20 points in the night. A little bit of pressure is taken off B.A. immediately because Doyle gets the kind roll in her team's first possession, now 3-2. The teams go scoreless over the next 90 seconds, but like we've seen all year, Bennett's defense starts to create offense. Elise Stout says, give me that. She also leads Doyle ahead with the perfect pass. Wings take a 4-3 lead. Halfway through the first, Doyle has another layup opportunity, but this time she has Grace Turek in front of her. No matter, the Eurostep does the trick, free throw good, 8-5, 13 all after a quarter, Doyle scores 9 of those points. Frem goes up 16-13 midway through the second quarter, Shramick's three-point shot not falling in the first half, so she goes the passing route instead, Stout cuts, Shramick finds her. It's not all Gorecki for the Vikings, Aaron Lenahan swoops in from the left wing, 21-19 Frem, one of her two field goals. Here's another Bennett staple for this season, scoring quickly after giving up a score. Doyle drives near the rim and draws multiple defenders. Another Red Wing finds Stout at the rim, 21 all at halftime, despite Bennett going 0 of 10 from distance. That's something the Wings want to work on for the second half, with the state title hanging in the balance. And what do you know, Tramick finally gets one to drop two minutes into the third. Wings up 29-27, three of her 15 points. The Vikings tied the game up soon thereafter with help from Gorecki. She lulls the Bennett defense to sleep while Turek cuts back door. After a few buckets from his shoe, the Wings take the lead back. That sets up this Doyle-Gorecki ISO with 30 seconds left in the quarter. A skip pass to Emma Lavin does the trick, 38-33 Bennett, heading to the fourth quarter. Vikings coach David Yates asks his team for everything it has in the final eight minutes. Unfortunately for him and his team, the answers just aren't there against the Bennett defense. Doyle pops the ball loose from Brianna Lewis, his shoe throws it ahead, and Morgan Tamala doesn't let the footsteps phase her, 40-35. Later, another Viking turnover has the wings in transition, just the way they like it. Doyle scoots ahead and bounces for Katie Jasikis. She has a double-double, 12-10. It's 51-37 after that, and from there, Bennett can start celebrating. In the fourth, the wings own a 10-0 points off turnover advantage and a 12-2 points in the paint advantage while outscoring Frem 23-6. That does the trick for the program's first state title. Doyle finishes with a team high 18 points, five dimes and three boards, while cutting down her turnover number from 10 in the semifinal to one on this night. All of those numbers aside, the most important one is the score, 61-39 and a nice shiny trophy. At the beginning of the season, it was a dream and now it's a reality and reality. we completed the reality, so we're, I, we're just so excited. I don't even know what to say. Kathleen, uh, actually she fell asleep this afternoon and was late for the bus because she was uh, taking a little nap and missed her wake-up call. But I I'm glad she did because when she woke up, she was pretty special tonight. So, yeah, no, she's unbelievable what she brings to the table. Um, and she's just, what, what makes this group of kids special is Kathleen is an example. She doesn't really care about points. She wants to win. Tell me, all she ever is interested in is tell me what you need me to do to win. And Emily Shu, Shramick, uh, all of them, Morgan and uh, Emma, you know, Stout, they, they don't care. You know, let's, tell me what we need to do to win. Uh, and they're all about that. And it's, it's why they've won so many games. It's why they've been so successful. Coming into this year, we knew that we would have a solid team and we would be better um, than we were last year. So we knew that we would just have to work hard throughout the whole season and accomplish what we know we can accomplish because um, probably by the middle of the season, we realized the state is actually accomplishable. So we worked so hard to get the, here and um, we just knew what we had to do and we wanted to do it for ourselves. I'm usually not used to missing all my shots. So um, I mean, coach and the whole team has really helped me uh, boost my confidence and I knew that even if I missed a few I would make the next few so they didn't give up on me and I would never give up on them so um, regardless of how the offense went I knew I wanted to finish it out for my team. 
me and Em both realized that like our shots aren't going to be 100%. So our shots in the first half, we weren't forcing or they weren't bad shots necessarily. We knew that if we keep shooting those same shots, they're bound to fall. So we, that didn't really mess with our heads. Like we have, we were pretty confident still in the second half. And I think that that really paid off that we didn't let us missing in the first get in our heads. And we both like pulled out big for us in the second. So I think that that um, mentality that it was going to eventually go in really paid off. Peter did this 29 years. I was with him for 10 of those years. And he's just such a gentleman, a great friend of mine. Um, and, you know, he couldn't be happier for me or the girls. He's just so... I, I went and talked to him uh, before we left Thursday morning. Told him I was going to be wearing the sweater vest Thursday night as my homage to him. And, um, and you know, the, told him told the girls how much he was, how thrilled he was for them. Um, and it's just, I know from Peter, it's, he got here once. It's so incredibly difficult to do. Uh, I, I'm truly blessed that uh, this group of girls was able to make it happen this year. Uh, I just can't say enough about them. They're tremendous kids. They did a wonderful job. And, and you know, Peter's imprint is all over this. They worked very hard. They, they tried to make this an experience for me, uh, and I'm grateful for, for that forever. You know, and, and as I said, I think we took it a step further than we had it last year, uh, and that's uh, that's what we want to do. And hopefully next year they'll take it a step further than they took it this year. Knowing that we were the first team and it's my senior year, like I wish I had another year, obviously, but this is the best feeling ever. Like all my hard work for four years and all of the seniors, like it just paid off. Like the. The little things all added up tonight, and it was just amazing. I've worked so hard with these girls, and we're just so happy we finally won. We, our chemistry on and off the floor is awesome, and we're really good friends, so we're just really glad we could pull it out. And Mr. Kilbride's an awesome coach, and he had faith in us throughout the whole season, and we're so proud we could get it done for him in his first year as a head coach at Bennett. Maybe I'm blessed by ignorance, you know? My first year, I don't know better. I just think this is the way it's supposed to be. But honestly, um, we've been talking for three weeks now about the state, you know, really our objective game in and game out was we wanted to give everybody our best shot. We didn't want to leave any game, win or lose, and that wasn't the way we play. So I told him, uh, and we talked before the game today, that this should be a joyful moment. You should be smiling and having fun and just go play. Don't, don't, you know, I, I said, I'm not going to coach you that much tonight. I'm going to cheer for you and you're just going to go play and enjoy uh, and be in the moment. You're going to remember this 30, 40 years from now. Have fun with it. And they really, th this group has been loose all year. They were loose tonight. Uh, we had a little fatigue just because we spent a lot of energy yesterday to win that semifinal game. Uh, but they found it when they needed it tonight. Coach did a great job all throughout the year, just pushing us to always do our best, encouraging us to go to those extra practices. And just, I mean, he did a ton for this team and we wouldn't be here without him. We knew that she was gonna get a lot of ball screens and vector cuts and just lots of screens to move around. So we knew that if we were guarding her, we would kind of have to trail her sometimes to not get caught up um, and let her get the open three. So we knew that we had to get through those screens and be able to help uh, if we trapped and then uh, she passed out of the trap. So um, my, help, my team really helped me guard her because it's really not just a team, one person effort, it's a whole team effort. We've been doing the same defense since the first game and it's obviously paid off, so we weren't gonna change our defense because of one player. Like we obviously had to know where Grecky was all times on the court and we had to be able to help her right when she cut right when she caught the ball, we'd go over and trap sometimes if she was in the post. But we didn't necessarily change the whole thing. We just had to be conscious of where she was at all times. I mean, it's an incredible feeling. We've been working for this our entire season. And those extra practices, those early morning like days, it's been an incredible amount of work that we've put into this. And it's just like, I'm just speechless thinking about everything we've put into it and this amazing reward we just received.